I was at the, uh, a lot of times comedy is very isolated. Like I said, I'm always in hotel pools by myself. It's a very isolating profession. <laughs> I was at the Mall of America a couple years ago, and they have a roller coaster at the Mall of America. Now, I wanted to ride the roller coaster. I'm a fun guy. You guys can see that, obviously. <laughs> I wanted to ride the roller coaster, but I was by myself. I feel like a weirdo. I'm like, I don't want to ride a roller coaster alone. But then I was like, whatever. That's just my anxiety, getting in the way of a good time. So I said, you know what? I'll have one ticket for the roller coaster. Now, the roller coaster seats four across. So when you're by yourself, they put you in a group of three. And my group of three was like three 10-year-old boys. They're like, you're with these kids. <laughs> And right away, I'm like, I don't want to sit with somebody's children. I feel like a weirdo alone. Now I feel like a real weirdo with somebody's kids. But I had to go through with it. You can't back out in that moment. You can't be like, oh, I can't sit with kids. Never mind. Forget it. Sorry. You know what I mean? That's like a red flag. They're going to be like, what's up with this guy? Why can't he sit with children? So I had to be like, sure. You can't go too big either, by the way. You can't be like, yeah. You gotta split the difference. Yes, I would love to. Ooh. So then I sat with the kids, and you've been on a roller coaster. They're like right next to you. Like our legs are touching. We're like right here, and I'm like, should I say hello? Should I be like, hey, what's up, guys? All right. Or is that like a stranger danger? I don't want to freak them out. But then it also feels psychotic to just stare straight ahead. So once again, I had to split the difference. So I kissed the cutest one on the lips. Gave him a little smooch. <laughs> Nothing serious, just soft, let him know I'm a good guy, you know. It was weird, because the cutest one wasn't next to me. There was like a piece of shit next to me. I had to lean across him. He got jealous. That part's a joke. I gotta make it clear that this is, I did not kiss a child. But the story really happened. I really did ride a roller coaster with three kids at the Mall of America. And then there was a lady over here. She started waving like this. Now I'm an idiot. You guys are probably like, oh, I bet she's like the mother of one of these kids. That is correct. I'm a dipshit. I thought she was a fan. So I started waving back. I was like, hey, hey. I'm just like you. And I was like, oh, that's your child. Oh, well, that's your kid. Okay, I see. That's why you're both horrified. I got you. My bad. I had to ride the roller coaster. I rode the roller coaster. I didn't even enjoy it because I was so anxious. But I got off the roller coaster. They try to sell you a photo. They take a photo of you on the roller coaster. They try to sell it to you. Would you like to buy a photo of your experience? I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to pass on the photo. Feels a little inappropriate if I'm like, yeah. Let me get an 8x10 of me and the boys. <laughs> Do you have any wallet sizes? I want to remember these children forever. I want to remember these kids I met a few minutes ago for a long time. I didn't buy the photo, but they got in line. They had a great time, so they bought the photo. I'm not joking. This is a true story. Right now, there's a photo of me and three children somewhere in America. It sort of motivates me professionally. Like, I think it'd be fun if someday my career just explodes. I don't know if it's tonight, but someday <laughs> my career just takes off and that family's at home watching a movie and they're like, is that the fucking guy from the roller coaster? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ma! That lonely nerd from the mall. <laughs> he didn't kill himself. <laughs> He's talking to Tom Hanks right now. Look at this. 